The Kanye West P. Davidson celebrity death match continues, right? And I say this because the video for the game featuring Kanye West's song Easy just dropped. And it basically features a lot of claymation. It's very artistic and everything of the sorts. But that's not the biggest part of the problem which people have. The biggest problem in the video, not only the line of God save me from the crash just so I could be Pete Davis's ass. Who? Like, not just that. It was this effigy that shows Pete Davidson being buried alive and having roses growing out his head. A lot of people are like, oh, man, this is sick, blah, 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 blah. One of the things I will say, he does not decapitate Pete Davidson in this video. He cuts the roses and puts them in a black truck that he did for Valentine's Day, which is weird. A lot of people are like, oh, my God, this is blah, 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 blah. I have some thoughts on this, but I will let Winston go first. What we're seeing, because we've already been talking about this, um, we're seeing somebody who is manipulative and emotionally abusive continue his campaign to do so. And what's funny is that Kim was kind of on the side of it. Like, I think back to Taylor Swift, and I remember how when uh, The Life of Pablo came out and he had that whole song, Famous, uh, you know, I made that bitch famous, like that whole shit. And he did the music video with all of them naked in bed together and stuff like that. And how Taylor was like really taken aback. Because A, the initial song that she heard, um, she, you know, he, she was like, the one he played for me, he didn't call me a bitch. He was like, you know, uh, you know, I think me and Taylor might still have sex. That's all that that's all he said initially on the thing. And you hear the that recording or whatnot so we're watching what he has done to other people now turn it on his ex-wife which is official because she did officially become uh kim kardashian again the west is off of her name as of yesterday so that has a lot to do with it too but it's just one of those situations where it's like the more he continues to do this especially when he has made open threats uh, about pete davidson before to then have a video, which, yes, it's the game song, but you bet your ass Kanye had some sort of creative say about what was going on in the video. For him to have a video where he buries Pete Davidson alive, grows roses out of his fucking head, and then takes them to Kim for Valentine's Day as, like, an offering. Dude, you got to go sit the fuck down, and someone needs to, someone needs to, because, like, there's a reason why the judge very quickly like they were having hangups because Kanye wasn't wasn't going on, wasn't getting on board. But there's a reason why once shit started moving, the judge was like, "Yeah, you can be single and take the name off and all that shit because this man is getting ridiculous." And guess what? If anybody was not Kanye West with the albums and the money doing this kind of shit, this is the kind of shit the motherfuckers get immediate restraining orders that end up getting arrested and shit like that. This is not chill at all. And I already know I'm going to let Jay say his piece because we talked about it before, but he brought up like rap, beef, rap beefs and stuff before, and I'm sure he'll get into that. That doesn't apply here because you're not talking about somebody that is another rapper going against it. You're not talking about somebody like Bill O'Reilly, like when Ludacris was talking shit about Bill O'Reilly. You're not talking about a situation where Bill O'Reilly ran his mouth so Ludacris <laughs> went back at him. You're not talking about a situation where Jerry Heller fucked over Ice Cube so Ice Cube went back at him. You're talking about a person that is dating your ex-wife and you have proceeded to emotionally torture and embarrass both of them for months so miss me with all that this is some rap beef bullshit kanye is an abuser and he's acting as such here's where i i agree with you and when you, when you say the majority of what you said i don't <clears throat> i don't know if <sighs> trying to make sure i word this correctly if the term emotional abuse crossed everything go applies here's why p davidson of course hasn't said anything and more than likely as people told him let it be it is what it is but one of the things i've seen and again i i tell everybody all the time i have two pages one to keep the hood in me active the other for the industry many people have all said this why does she not have a restraining order or p davidson for that matter I'm not saying I'm not giving Kanye any credence in this. Let me make sure I, I clarify that. But there were a lot of people who also stated this looks like a publicity stunt. I talked about it and I said, why? I was like, I don't, I hope it's not. 
but I didn't realize, and I even told you this, I didn't realize until recently they got a whole new show coming on Hulu. Got a whole new show. Donda 2, Donda 2 just dropped. He had to sell a stem player, which people bought to get that. I, I The reason I uh, uh, attribute this, if you will, to rap beef, the reason I attribute it to is we've seen videos like this throughout all of hip-hop history. We have always seen that. So, unfortunately, does it make it better? No. Is it precedent for it? Absolutely. I understand a lot of people will say restraining orders and protection orders and protection mean nothing. I get that. I get that. We've seen numerous cases in which the woman has had that order of protection and then the guy has managed to subvert it and either prevent some, something that was preventing from happening, et cetera, et cetera. So I get that. I get that. But again, it's, you and I were talking about this and you, you brought up one of the things that said at face value, you have to take this for what this is. And that is true. We do. But it's hard to take a lot of shit at face value when it's that family. But here's my only other thing specifically. I get what you're saying because the Kardashians have th thrived off a of drama, specifically uh, family drama in that regard. Mm -hmm. And you already have plenty of it. Tristan Thompson went and impregnated another fucking woman. You need a you need an A story, Nigga, line, motherfucker. Courtney it's Kardashian already... has eight different faces, and Tristan Thompson has cheated on all of them. You mean Chloe? Whichever <laughs> true, whichever <laughs> my Kardashian. Point is, my point is, you have plenty of drama to fuel it already. Second of all, it doesn't make sense. The show drops like next week, meaning they've already shot the season. They're not, they're not. This no, 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 no. Not, they're still going. It's a reality show, just like everything else. So they're no, no, I understand that. But they are, they are, they shoot still months in advance. So you might get the early signs of like, I think we're going to get the door. I will say this. If someone genuinely try and like use this as fodder on the show, I do lose a decent amount of respect for the fucking Kardashians and it becomes a bunch of bullshit. But regardless, man, regardless of all of that mm -hmm. shit, we are watching, we are literally watching Kanye do this shit in public and no one is saying anything against him. People are like, why is this happening? But there is not a, there is not a lawyer. There is not a big brother like a Jay, even though he beefs with him all the fucking time. And that's the part that's so fucking sad about this. It's not just his relationship with Kim. I was just talking to you as well about his drink champs interview where he got on that motherfucker and shit talk Big Sean, shit talk John Legend, shit talk Talib, Talib Kweli, which as a rapper, Kanye only really got on because of that. He was killing it as a producer, but he even said it himself on Get Him High, where it's like, yo, come on, Talib, come on and get up the line and get him high. Because he's trying to fucking smash with a girl and Talib is like, I think yes, everybody's asking, my boy. Everybody's asking, you had respect for the Kardashians to begin with? No, not really. But you know, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm saying like, this is d d d no, no, I didn't. But you, you know what I meant? Stop this. My point is, this is just, I just, I just, I, I've run out of stuff to say about it. I yeah, just, clearly, I, your, I internet, I clearly your internet knows you run out of stuff to say too, nigga. Oh, is that, what is it acting up again? Your internet seems like, I'm like, I, uh, 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 uh. I'm saying, you sound like the alien dude. When he started talking after being hypnotized, that's how you sounded. So damn. I again, it, it's there's so many. I, I understand what we see, and a lot of people have said this. Had this been anybody else, blah 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 blah. All these different things have been happening, and that's true. So which also makes it again going off that Chris Jenner being the evil genius that she is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Paula Jedi 66 says Courtney has no soul. She's lifeless. She has black eyes, soulless eyes, the doll's eyes. It's like, it's just, it's hard when you watch a, a family who, like you said earlier, they thrive on drama. They thrive on it. And I understand what we're saying when you're talking about the stalking of the ex, when you're talking about the kids. I get that. But again, it is hard. Yes, taking things at face value is one thing, but when it's this family, it's another. 
Yeah, but I, I even even to that point, man, we are again watching a woman get actively emotionally uh, abused, and for her, essentially for her to get physically threatened in, in terms of her her new boyfriend being threatened in that process. I just, it's just the the one thing I got to give Pete a lot of credit for. I really wish that Pete would like do a weekend update. Cause he's always on there just like kind of telling like it is doing like mini standup sets. I would love for Pete to go up there and just be like, y'all watching this crazy shit, right? <laughs> Everybody is seeing this, right? I'm not like, I'm not like, we're not, you know, going to pretend like that. I just, I, I don't know. I, I appreciate him for, for being chill about it and not saying anything back, but I kind of wish Pete would speak up, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Unfortunately. I mean, Blurs in the Hood every Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. All full episodes exclusively available on Twitch. www.twitch.tv slash B-L-E-R-D-S, the letter N-T-H-E-H-O-O-D. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.